In this video, I'll be showing you guys the newest way to get eSign on your iOS device without computer and jailbreak. With eSign, you can download your favorite IPAs with just a few steps, making it the most reliable signer working for iOS 15 all the way to iOS 18. So the first thing you guys have to do is go to the developer's official website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So you're just going to open up Safari. And what we have to do is first click on install DNS profile. So you're just going to click install here and then click allow here. And then now obviously you can just go into settings and then click on profile downloaded, click install, and then just put in your passcode, click install and it has been installed so now if you guys just swipe out you'll see a bookmark here and that bookmark is the same as a developer's website so now you can just use this and click on this here so you can download a bunch of your future stuff that you guys do want to download anyways once you guys click on the bookmark you guys will see the same website that you guys had on safari so you're going to scroll all the way down until you guys see eSign bypass revoke and so basically you'll just see a bunch of different e-signs and each one will have a text beneath this showing the certificate for example if you scroll down here you'll see this e-sign is under hdfc bank limited and also there's also case signs here as well so if you guys want to see a video on how to install case sign which i believe has an easier interface to understand then i'll leave a video in the top right for that but for this video since we're strictly doing e-sign what you guys have to do is just click on any one of these e-signs making sure that you guys keep note of which certificate the e-sign is under so for me i noticed that the e-sign under vietnam electricity was working for me so i'll just click download on vietnam electricity click install and now as you guys can see my e-sign has in fact loaded and there's even a blue icon to indicate that it just installed and so now if you guys click on the e-sign itself it'll say untrusted enterprise developer and it has not been trusted on this iphone so what you guys have to do is just go into settings and then just click done on here obviously and then you'll see your enterprise apps and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on the vietnam electricity profile and then you guys are gonna have to click trust and when you guys do click trust it'll restart your entire device and that'll end this recording so i'll be back when i do restart my device and now that i've restarted all you guys have to do is just click on the e-sign app and it may crash the first time so you guys might need to reopen it again like it just crashed for me so i'll just click on it again and then you'll get a little pop-up saying obviously you guys can read whatever this says here just click ok and then you're just going to click on agree at the top right here. If you guys want to read any of this, then you guys can. But I'm just going to click on agree here and then just click agree. And as you guys can see, I have successfully installed eSign. And now we can finally get to sideload any app that you guys want to sideload. However, we do need to make sure that eSign is ready for signing. So what you guys have to do is just click out of the app and then you're just going to go back into that bookmark that we downloaded, which was over here. And then once it does load, what we have to do is scroll down until we see download certificate. You're going to have to click download here. And what we're going to do is click on more. And then we need to save this to files. So we're just going to save this to files. So click save and then since i already have these files i'm just gonna click on replace and then we can just go back into our files app and what we need to do once we're in our files app is just click on the zip file and once we click on it it should extract the file and put it into its own folder and now once you guys go into the folder you'll see 14 items and there are a bunch of certificates here so you'll see k sign certs and then you'll also see these e sign certs as well let me just get the full name for it you'll see it is a dot e sign cert here and what we need to do is just make sure that we import the ones that say dot e sign cert into our actual e sign not the ones that say k sign so just make sure that you guys do put the right one in so what we're going to do is go back into eSign and then in eSign, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to click on import resource, go back, obviously, and then go back to the folder that we just extracted. And now we have to click on the certificate that we downloaded eSign with. And obviously, just remember, like I said before, it has to end with dot eSign cert. 
So since I downloaded with Vietnam Electricity and it said that right at the bottom of the e-sign that I downloaded, since I downloaded with that one, I need to select that as the certificate. So I'm just going to scroll down. And then as you guys can see, it says Vietnam Electricity dot e-sign cert. Click on that here and then it'll say import certificate management. Click import. And now if you guys go into file, you guys will see your dot e-sign cert here. And also if we go into settings and then click on certificate management, then you guys can see your certificate here. And there's even an expiration for it, which is in 2026. So just click back here, go into file. And now we can start to sideload the IP that we want to sideload. So since we're already in files here, what we need to do is click on the three dots over here and then click on import and then you guys can just go back here go to your downloads and you guys want to get your ipa so i'm going to use the old os ipa and i'll be making a video very soon on how to get this ipa and how to sideload it as well so make sure you guys do subscribe for that but anyways we're just going to click on the old os ipa and then you're just gonna to have to click import again and it has imported successfully so now we have to go into apps and then you'll automatically see your ipa here and it'll be under unsigned so what we have to do is click on the ipa click on signature and then click on signature again you can change any of this if you guys want but obviously i would just keep it how it is so click on signature And then now it should be signing and you'll see these little red warnings saying the certificate has been revoked. It may not be installed after signing, but just ignore that. It'll still install and work exactly how you want it to. So you can just click on install here and then click on install. And now you guys can just go back to your home screen and pretty much wait for the e-sign to pop up and it is over here just give it a second or two and as you guys can see my old os has in fact installed and if i just click on it here it'll work just like how it is intended to you can slide to unlock you can use old os however you guys want and that's pretty much how to install any ipa anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching